Well, hello there, good people. Jason with the Green Country Agroforestry here. Uh, you can see our corn back there in the back doing fairly well, and even despite the fact that we've got 100 degree temperatures out there, we're in the shade of this maple tree here, which is whew, a lot cooler. I have plans for this week to, to show you some uh, making of wind chimes on the cheap using uh, EMT conduit. But I had to look at my pipe cutters and realize they were a little bit too small for the pipe that I was going to be using. So I've got a new set on order. That will be coming later. In the meantime, I'm going to show you this. So here's a grasshopper. He's a fairly small one. Good size for catching catfish with. And right now they are going nuts on the corn and just doing all kinds of damage. So I'm figuring I should probably do something about this pest first. I've got a plan. Let me show you what that is. Wires right. attached here. And then we're just going to bring it in every couple of inches or so and wrap it. So it connects the poultry netting to the PVC pipe. Got a friend. You little guy. Take measure. You're not here at 10 feet. Something I discovered the first one of these that I put together is you need a place to anchor your wire that you're going to use to hold this together. And to help me with that, well, you know the drill. We're going to use the drill to tap a hole at the end of each one of these pieces of pipe to give me a place to anchor that wire. So it doesn't have to go all the way through, it just needs to be there so I have a place to attach that piece of wire. Here's the wire that we're going to be using to hold everything together with. This is a fairly decent heavy gauge pinch wire. I think we're going to need about four foot of it for each one of these to hold everything in place. Essentially, this is now a, a movable post. I can pick this up and move it anywhere I want to. And this part's going to be flush with the ground. One, two. I've tried the step-in fence posts and they just don't, they don't work to my satisfaction here. You only get about maybe six to eight inches of material driving into the ground with those step-in posts and the soil we have is really sandy and it needs a little bit more than six inches to make it stable. With a four foot rebar and a two and a half foot post that gives us one and a half feet to drive into the ground to anchor it. That should be sufficient to hold things in place. Okay, it's early in the morning now. The sun's coming up over yonder, and uh, before it starts getting too hot out here, we're going to go ahead and take the fencing sections that we cre created and completed last night and install them here all the way around the corn patch. 
We'll release the ducks so they can come out here, romp through the corn, and eat all the grasshoppers. That's what we're hoping for. All right, let's get to it. Gonna be exciting. We're gonna open up the duck hut and allow the ducks to get out today. So this little temporary fence that we built around, a little splash area, just coming out. This green water that the ducks produce makes some of the world's best fertilizer. It makes for a great workout. Today we're going to be fertilizing the grapevines and the fig trees. Looks like when I'm out doing my watering this morning, we need to give our sweet potatoes in these containers a drink too. Because they're going to be taking the ducks outside of their normal comfort zone today, they're going to move their food outside so they can come out here and enjoy some of their food. But because I want them to eat the bugs, I'm giving them one third their usual ration. So they're going to come out, eat their food like they do first thing in the morning. They're going to enjoy the water and hopefully have a good snack on some grasshoppers. Good morning, duckies! Uh, show them where the food is. All right, let's see what they do.
Bogo here, that's the way we go about setting up our mobile duck fence. I hope you found this video informative or entertaining. If you did, you know what to do. I'll catch you next time. So then, get out there and get going.